right, so now we have the federal taxable income. Now this is what you're going to pay federal income tax on. How we calculate that is our salary, so 84,700, subtract the standard deduction. Now you will look at your tax tables that comes with your document to see where this is. It's down on the bottom here. It is 12,950 for someone who is filing single, which is what our um, example person is doing. So $12,950. Traditional retirement contributions. We're gonna look and see, was there anything that was contributed to a traditional retirement account from our story? And we do see our person is contributing $12,000 to a traditional retirement account. So this is going to reduce the amount of taxable income we have. So our taxable income is going to be 84,700 minus the standard deduction minus the traditional retirement contribution. So we don't pay tax on that money. So we're going to pay taxes on $59,750. Now we move into the tax brackets. And again, take a look at your tax tables. We have one side is state, one side is federal, and federal is what we're going to do first. So what we want to see is the different rates, so 10, 12, 22, 24, 32. We know our federal taxable income is 59,750. So 59,750 is going to fall in the 22% bracket. So we're gonna fill up the 10, we're gonna fill up the 12, and then some of our money is gonna go into the 22% bracket. So that's how this works. We're going to fill up the brackets with up to 10,275, the difference between these two, and then what's left is gonna go into the 22% bracket. And we're gonna use our worksheet over here to help us do that. So the first one is the 10% bracket, our taxable income goes in first. So 59,750. So that is coming from over here, the federal taxable income. The amount that fits in the 10% bracket is up to 10,275. So $10,275 can go in here. Now this number isn't super important in terms of the calculations, but it's an important one for us to note that, okay, we're going to take from the taxable income, the first 10,275, and we're gonna pay 10% tax on it. So you would put that in your calculator times 0.10 for 10%, and you get $1,027.50. $1, so you're just moving the decimal place over one spot. Then you move down to the next bracket. What's left to be taxed? We have the 59,750 minus the 10,275 that we just paid taxes on. So we've paid taxes on that amount. It doesn't get taxed again. So we got 59,750 minus 10,275. There is still $49,475 still to be taxed. Now we need to figure out how much fits inside the 12% bracket. And to do that, we come up here to the 12%, we look at the max it holds minus what we've already paid taxes on. So 41,775 minus 10,275. This one can hold 31,500. Since that number is less than what we have left to tax, we're going to fill up this bracket again. So 31,500 times 0.12, we get $3,780 is the amount of tax we owe for this bracket. And you'll notice if you do these over and over again, the brackets will stay the same except for the last bracket you fill up. So all the prior ones will be the exact same because you're filling them up, paying the taxes on it. It's the last bracket where you're gonna see a difference. So we're gonna subtract 31,500 from our taxable income because we have now paid taxes on that 35,000, or sorry, 31,500. And we have $17,975 left to be taxed. The 22% bracket can hold 89,075 minus 41,775. The reason we use this number, by the way, is we have paid taxes up to 41,775. If you subtract the six, you're missing a dollar that hasn't been taxed yet. 
So this bracket can hold 47,300. You'll notice it's nice round numbers most of the time. So 47,300. This is more than we have left to tax, so the remaining income that hasn't been taxed yet is going to go in here. So 17,975 at 22%. So we're going to owe $3,954.50 in that bracket. The remaining brackets don't get filled. So the 24, the 32, the 35, the 37, no money goes in there. And then our total taxes owed is just going to be add up the three columns of 10%, 12%, and 22%. So one zero two seven fifty cents plus 3780 plus 395450 and we get $8,762. Oops, I'm writing this in the wrong box. $8,762 in total federal income tax owed.